What's up guys, it's Badass Brown Skin back with another video. So I'm going to be reacting to Domo Wilson a video that is named Everything That I Didn't Tell You About This Breakup. Now, she posted a video two days ago of her breaking down. So maybe this is what she's explaining about. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's me. She like just made me think of things in a different way. Like she makes me think more positivity, not so down on myself. Like I'm really, really hard on myself. If you know me personally, I literally like talk about myself all the time. Even if it's just a ha ha ha, I'm ugly. Like, no, I really mean it. Like I'm not like I'm for real. She makes me dig deeper inside of myself that I didn't even know it was there. And I really appreciate that. Um, even the amount of money I'm throwing out on therapy, like I it's worth it. I would suggest anybody who's going through this. that see me at my lowest point and still decided to uplift me um especially women you know women uplifting other women just because you don't understand somebody don't mean you have to down them i've rarely seen any negativity and it was just people just telling me that i'm just worth it i'm i just needed to hear it you know what i'm saying sometimes you just need somebody to tell you you're beautiful maybe you will start believing it if enough people tell you so yeah this video is about to be probably confusing to a lot of you guys and i've hesitated on making this video i wasn't going to I talked to my therapist though. She knows what I do for a living. She knows exactly how I feel about everything and she told me to go for it. I'm not gonna bash anybody. I don't wanna do that, okay? That's not the intention of this video and if I catch myself doing that, I'm gonna take a few steps back. If it's not obvious enough, it's about Chrissy. If you don't know who Chrissy is, me and Chrissy were together for almost three years and we had a lovely baby. He sleep right there. She is a great mother. I will never knock her mothering skills. She loves him. She literally is like spoils him. She spends time with him like, we switch off every three and a half days so we get them equally. She's a great mother, can't knock it. And I see a lot of you guys talking about some, Chrissy didn't want to be a mom, Chrissy. You're right, she didn't. Like she did not want to be a mother. When I told her that I wanted to have a baby, she stepped back, she thought about it. I said, look, you are more than welcome to leave me right now. And I would definitely, we were like, probably, um, we were over a year talking at that point. And I was like, look, I totally understand if you don't want to have a child, you know, you're young right now. You're, you're spry. You're a spring chicken. Like, I get it. And I told her when we first met, I told her like 20 times. Like, if it's even in a video. Let me throw the clip right here. And a lot of y'all also want to know that she support baby doll. Mm -hmm. Just, just ask her. Mm -hmm. Wait. Do you support baby doll? I guess you gonna answer it. Okay. Yes, of course I support my baby. And I support baby doll because it's my baby. This is mine. All mine. <laughs> it's a baby. I love you, baby. It's like a strange scent coming out. I fucking love you. I love you too. <laughs> I told her then, like, this is what I want, and if you don't, I get it. I would, I never see myself having a baby with anybody anyways, and I was gonna do it alone, but since I was with her, I felt like that was a respectful thing to just bring it up again. Like, look, this is what I wanna do, I really want this, and if you don't, I get it. Just leave me right now. We can still be cool, we can still be friends. We're not in too deep, we're good. And she was like, no, no, like, I want this. I wanna have a baby with you, I wanna have a family, and I'm like, okay. Like, but if you feel different before we do this, let me know. So no, I hate seeing you guys not Chrissy as a parent. It bothers me because she is a great one she is a great mother what not that but there's a lot of things in um our relationship that you guys did not know so me and chrissy have been having problems now for a minute we've been trying to work through them um literally try day in and day out and obviously it did not work so we broke up when we broke up it was definitely mutual a lot of you guys think it wasn't mutual because i'm so hurt now but it definitely was we talked about it we sat down in the car and we were like look this obviously is not going anywhere and you know we still love each other but we just should not be together and part of me obviously still wanted to be with her i love her you know when i love i love hard i wear my heart on my sleeve literally i wear my heart on my sleeve i knew i had to let her go by the way she looked at me when we were having this conversation no matter how many times i want to say let's try again let's work it out and you know no matter how many times i wanted to say that i had to let her go i had to let her live and do her own thing <laughs> let me tell you i did not think it was gonna hurt this bad i swear to god if i thought it would hurt this bad i would have stayed with her i know that sounds fucked up but I'm thinking like, okay, well, we have this great friendship, great bond. We're gonna stay friends. We're gonna do our own things. And like, boom, bam, perfect. That's what I thought. 
you know um and obviously things don't work out like that and life happens life really does happen long story short i'm alone I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about me first i am alone i don't talk to anybody i don't flirt with anybody i don't do anything reason being is because i'm so scared to do it i'm scared to like somebody i'm scared to try to fall for somebody i'm scared for all of that you know what i'm saying i'm still learning to love myself as a person as an individual being a great mom to my son I'm scared. I don't want to get emotionally attached because I love too hard and I usually, the love is not reciprocated. It scares me. And a lot of people out there can relate like, yes, Damo, like I am you. I, you know how many times I've seen that comment? Like, Damo, we are so alike and I never thought that I would meet somebody like me. Yes, people out there with big hearts, we get fucked over the most and it sucks. Long story short, like I told you, I am alone. I don't do anything. Chrissy told me not to talk about this. She told me not to say anything, but I'm so tired of like suffering in silence, honestly. And this is not to bash her. I want to put that right there but chrissy has moved on literally she's like happy she's with someone else and they've been for a while now honestly they're on vacation right now she came around with hickeys on her neck and i lost it that's when i had my mental breakdown on youtube that's that day i completely lost it just imagining somebody touching her somebody kissing her having sex with her i lost it because i never thought that she would be that person so soon you know uh i asked her was i an easy person to get over she said yeah and then i asked her what was wrong with me but in therapy she taught me there's nothing wrong with me you know things end that's just what it is. Nothing's forever. And if it was forever, it came with a lot of forgiveness. Right now on the stage of my life, I'm going through bitterness. And I need to learn forgiveness. And I need to learn to move on and let go. I hold on to everything, hence why I just have not moved on. It's even to the fact where when I asked her if I was easy to get over, I thought about getting back with her. And she denied me. And she said she doesn't backtrack. When we were together, we had this conversation and she always told me I was special, that I would be the one that she would always come back to, that I would be the one that she would love unconditionally. When we broke up, I didn't recognize her. I don't recognize her today at all. Zero percent. I don't know who she is. This isn't. Don't know heart is broke, yo. Damn. That's crazy. Bro. Venus is in retrograde. This shit is, a, is affecting people's relationships, by the way. Look it up. The best for maybe it's her period. Like when she go somewhere else and I go somewhere else and we're sad. But it's sad to watch somebody before your eyes change. And I question her motives on being with me. I said a lot of hurtful things like she used me to get fame and followers and money. I said a lot of hurtful things to her like you wouldn't be where you were if it wasn't for me. That she would spend all this money on this girl, take her out, have her a good time and all that. And I would just be jealous and bitter. I mean, it's fucked up for her to like, you know what I'm saying, say like, you wouldn't be nowhere without me and shit. But she's accepting that she understands that she's in a bitter stage, which is very mature. Because some people don't even accept the fact that they just being like spiteful and bitter about a situation. But she understands that she's in a bitter stage. <laughs> don't move mature as fuck. Yeah. I'm going through bitterness right now. Watching somebody that I loved love somebody else so fast is like mind blowing to me. For a while, it made me feel like something was wrong with me. Mm. Nothing's wrong with Mama. No. Um, man, going to therapy helps. I I used to be that person like, therapy's not gonna help. Like, what's the point of therapy? Like, I'm not going to therapy. Like, I could just talk to friends. Like. Mm, no, T therapy helps, and I'm so crazy for her. I've been praying. I found God. I mean, I always believe in God, but I literally found God. I'm going to church this Sunday for the first time in so long. I'm so excited. Diamond's going to church for the first time. You ready for church? You ready for church? I just feel 
rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? I still get sad. I don't want y'all to think that I'm happy all the time. I am not. I will probably still cry. Everything is not what it seems, okay? That video took a lot of you guys by surprise because a lot of you guys did not know that I was that sad. I had to literally hide that part of my life because I thought you guys wouldn't accept me for me showing my raw emotion. I thought you guys would just not get me, not understand. And I wanted you guys to like relate to me and be happy because you know, when you come to a channel, you want to see positivity. You don't want to see sadness. You don't want to see depression. It just makes your mood down. You want to be happy. I'm sorry. I'm hearing what Domo's saying, but he just so cute. I can't stop looking at him with his little smile. He just moving away. <laughs> But I just stopped caring at that moment and I just let myself free. So this part of my life right here is called bitterness. Literally, like I'm very bitter about the situation. I want so bad for her to be happy. But her happiness cost me my happiness. And it's like, where do I go from here? Do I still try to be friends with her? Do I take space? And over time, I learned that I got to take space. My therapist told me that I need space too. She says, how are you going to try to get over her if you're always under her? And that made a lot of sense. This part of my life is called loving myself. Loving myself so unconditionally that I finally put me first. I never put me first, ever. I always say, okay, well, to save your feelings, let me sacrifice mine. To make sure you're happy, let me just step back. And I'm just done with that, honestly. It sucks seeing her happy without me. Honestly, it sucks so bad. And I already know, like, I just imagine the person that you love loving somebody else. I even got so bitter that today I was so upset that I found out she was going on vacation with another girl. Then I told her I moved on. I said, yeah, I'm talking to my ex. I'm talking to a couple girls, actually. I got, I don't want her to feel how I felt so bad. But in reality, I feel shitty. Cause it's not true, I'm still hurting. But it's like, do I want to give her that power over me to let her know that I'm still hurting, you know? I would say maybe after a week after our breakup is when I started to see the change that she just did not love me anymore, that she moved on. I found out because I was lurking on her page. If you don't know where lurking is, pretty much stalking. Very unhealthy, by the way. And I seen that she would just flirt with everybody and it made my blood boil because she would do that while we was together and I would be so insecure, like, what's wrong with me? I know I don't look like the girls on Instagram, but I can try. I can try to be who you want me to be. I can try to change. And that was my problem, trying to change for other people. And the girl that she's seeing now, the few girls, there's a few of them, are opposite of me. And it's like, was I even your type to begin with? No, I wasn't. Like, I have a touch of girly, nails, hair, like, it's a few girls damn <clears throat> to me it just sounded like Chrissy wanted to be single and like Doma was the more stable one in the relationship but she said it was like a mutual breakup like they both wanted to like you know what I'm saying go their separate ways but <clears throat> bitch I don't know maybe one wanted it more than the other that's what the fuck it seems like to me Cause Domo is hurting, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna say Chrissy ain't hurt, but damn, I'm just I'm just kind of shocked at all this, y'all. So whatever. Just my whole aurora. I'm just girly, and they're so masculine, and it's like wow. Like I try, I tried so hard. I got the dreads. She loves dreads. I started to wear baggier clothes. I started to change my whole appearance so that I, she could find me sexy, so she could find me appealing, so she could find me beautiful. And over time, I became so unhappy with that to the point where I agreed, like, hey, yes, let's just break up so I could just dress how I want to dress and feel pretty without having to dress like that and then feel like you don't even fucking like me. But like I told you, this is not to bash her. This is just me telling my feelings. It's okay to have a type. It's okay that she's not into me anymore. It just hurts. And I wanted to be upfront with you guys. A lot of you guys thought it was a bunch of other things that I was upset about because I didn't be specific about it. I just did it really vague. But honestly, it's the breakup. The breakup is hurting me. Um, I never thought that she would get over me so fast. When I talk to her now, I don't know who she is. I've never felt like that before. I've heard people say that before, but I was like, how don't you know? It's scary. It's so freaking scary. Got a kiss? Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Thank you. My son keeps me going, man. Mm -hmm. You keep me going. You keep mama going. You keep me happy. You know that? He said, yeah, I know. You tell me every day. <laughs> I want y'all to know that I'm okay, though. I was going to try to move yeah. on and go at a faster pace. <laughs> he said, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay, right? Yeah. I was going to go at a faster pace. Like, just try to move on um, to make her jealous. But that's stupid. She, do she doesn't give a... She doesn't care, okay? She doesn't care about me. She doesn't care if I move on or not. She doesn't care. She's over me. She has plenty of fish in the sea. She's beautiful. She can get anybody she wants. 
And that's that. I guess people cope and move differently and I'm just moving differently. But I wanted to explain to you guys what's really going on. You know, I don't want to have to just freaking keep secrets. Like when I talk to you guys, even like sometimes I take the time out to personally give people my number and like here, like if you need to talk, I'm here. And if you, you know, a lot of people feel like, Damo, look, I know you're just looking for a friend and I know you just need somebody. And I promise I'm not one of those groupie supporters. Like I genuinely love you and I genuinely care. And, and it's I, sometimes I'm like, okay, here, take my number, let's text. And even sometimes I have to sugarcoat stuff because I don't want them to know. And I don't want them to think that's not, uh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm saving everybody's feelings but my own. You know, so you guys can take this information to do what you want with it, but she seems very happy. So the reason I've been telling you guys why I don't want to get back with her is because the person she's become. A lot of you guys didn't understand that. You're like, but you're this, but you're that. You guys don't see what's behind the scenes. I don't. I, I tell her this to her face all the time. Like when she talks to me sometimes, it's like I'm a girl off the street and I'm like, I don't know who you are. And it's really freaking making me sad and I'm about to cry and I just feel so weak. But I have learned to love myself and it's been a short amount of time. It's just, you ever just needed that confirmation like you are the shit. You are that bitch. You are it. You are gorgeous. You are beautiful. You are worth it. You are courageous. You ever just needed somebody to give you that? Well, that's what my counselor gives me. And I just love her so much. Like I just needed to hear from somebody anonymous that did not know what I do for a living, that didn't know me personally, I needed to hear exactly what she told me and that's what I got. And like I told you, I was against counseling. I was like, ain't no way somebody I don't know telling me how I'm gonna feel, how should I feel, telling you if you're going through anything like this, even if it's beyond breakups, if it's whatever, counseling helps. I don't wanna hate Chrissy at all. That's one point that I don't want to get. That's why I'm taking a step back. I begged her to block me on social media because I would look and I would see the girls that she talks to, the girls she's dating, and I would compare myself to them constantly. Like, oh, like she looks like this and I don't. Maybe that's why we didn't work out. Or she's this tall and I'm not. Maybe she just wanted somebody tall. The main one to me was like really masculine and I'm like, I'm so opposite. You know, even when I did dress masculine, I was girly. Like I would just, my mannerisms, I'm not like a guy. I'm a girl, like that's, I don't know. Anyways, uh, this video's getting really long, but I just wanted to break down and tell you guys, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for loving me through my ups and downs and for being here for me through whatever. And I want to thank my lovely, beautiful, handsome son. Get off my weave. <laughs> Dog, bro. Every time I pick him up, he wanna. I'm like, boy, don't you bite on my good hair. You got me bent. Thank my handsome son for being the light in my life. I love you so much. You're the best. Look at him. He said this speech again. He's a light in my life. I literally love this dude so much. I love you. <laughs> literally, my battery's blinking right now, and I have to literally turn off the camera or the camera's gonna die. But but thank you guys for supporting me. I love you guys so much, and I hope this is a clear understanding. Like this was to not bash her. This was just to tell my feelings out loud in front of everybody. I'm so tired of hide it. Like if I'm gonna tell y'all something, I might as well tell y'all everything instead of like sugarcoating a bunch of stuff and then y'all confused and then y'all don't understand. This is what it is, and this is what it will be. And I wish her the very best, and I'm gonna try my hardest to just literally wish her the best, not just say it, but like I wish you the best, and I'm gonna get over you no matter how hard it is so yeah and i hope anybody who's going through this you guys can come talk to me all the time like on instagram twitter whatever like i want to listen and i want to hear you and yeah thank you guys for supporting me and loving me through thick and thin that means so much to me you guys love this song conditional i'm sorry i'm talking fast about to die but you guys love it song conditional and i really love that about y'all y'all don't like just love me for this and i just literally just learned that like i thought i was gonna get hate for having feelings but instead you guys get me and that's the best part about it, so. A little update, I feel better. Like I told you guys, I feel like way better. I was gone when I made that video a couple days ago, but now I feel so alive and I feel so free and I feel so me. I feel worth it and I feel I belong here and I feel I have purpose and I feel everything. It's just so hard, like I said, watching somebody you love just move on like you meant nothing to them. And that's what I just have to learn to accept that people change, people change. And it's sad, but like the song changes by XXX exactly how i feel go listen to it if you have it but man to a t that's really all i have to say thank you guys for praying for me like um like i told you i can't wait to go to church sunday i keep talking even though i keep saying i'm gonna go but i love y'all so much and stay positive out there okay i know i always tell you give you guys advice but we're in this together okay i'm going through stuff you're going through stuff let's go through it together okay i love y'all so much and thank y'all so much for just loving me just loving me thank you all right guys so um a lot of tea was spilt, but um, I'm glad Domo handling it strong.
that's some fucked up shit. I, I, I understand her being, you know what I'm saying, angry and shit like that. That's crazy. But um, with that being said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'll be back with another video soon. Badass Brown Skin out.